Hello my fave, welcome to My Moment, the best channel for makeup and hair tutorial and also products review. Are you ready for October? This is the month you can dream and be whatever you want to be. And today we're gonna transform into a cat. So if you want to transform into this cute and sexy cat, this is the products we need. The Too Faced Chocolate Bar paired with the Path McGrath Mini Palette. And so let's get ready and meow. So the correct way to use this is that you are going to slide your finger through this pocket right here. And as you can see, there is a little like a fishnet style and we're going to use that to exfoliate our dead skin cell. Interesting. Yes, I can feel it's a little rough on this. So I think that's the properties that is going to help me clean up my dead skin cell. And also they tell me to do on my neck. Yes, my skin does feel very soothing and also cool sensations. I don't know about the exfoliating part because I mean, I cannot really see the dead skin cells transferring to that pad. So I can't tell 100% of that. But the solutions, I feel it's similar to a um, sheet mask. So I'm going to apply the solutions also on my neck and face. Because this is like some type of moisturizer. So I'm going to hydrate my skin using this solution. And next I'm going to try this products right here is Benton and this is the sunscreens with a SPF of 38. Oh, is she thick? Oh my gosh, it's like whipped cream. Whoa, I do not like this smell. It's a papaya. Mmm. Oh my gosh, look at this white cast. <laughs> look at this white cast. Oh my gosh, I look like I'm having a beer and I'm about to shave it off. Oh, you guys, I do not recommend this product. It is so weird. Look at me. I look like a huge mess. <laughs> First of all, it smells weird. Second of all, it's not blending as I want it to. Third of all, it has such a white cast that I look disturbingly pale. I mean, I understand that Asian want to look, you know, pale and all white and stuff, but this look like huge mess and is also pretty sticky. Sorry to this products. I'm not feeling, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. I'm going to apply the Urban Decay Eyeshadows Primer Potions before I'm going to apply some eyeshadows. This is going to prevent from creasing and also making the colors last longer and more vibrant. Starting from the outer corner, I'm going to select this color right here. It's such a beautiful brown shade and I'm going to dust off the excess before I'm going to apply. But I want the intensity to start from the outer corner and gradually blend it out toward the inner corners. As you can see, I did pick up a different brush. This is a blending brush. So earlier it's more dense and now it's more fluffy. This is going to help my eyeshadows going to be more blendable versus going to be harsh line from the beginning. And then now I'm just going to blend it out and bring it up toward the inner corners and just blend it out until you don't see no harsh line. I have to admit that this process will take the longest but it's very critical and important so go ahead and pick up more colors as needed and blending it out. Using this color in the outer corners and gradually build up toward the inner corner, we want a lighter color shade in the inner corners for an opening eye effect. Now I'm going to cut crease. This process will help my colors to show if I'm using a lighter colors in the outer corners and also in the mid. And I'm just going to do a cut crease halfway. I'm not going to do a full way. Think of you are drawing a half moon, but making sure the shapes of the crease going to be perfect and precise. 
If you have a natural crease line, I do recommend for you to go above just a little bit in order the colors to show. For me, I don't really have a crease because mine is model lid, so I'm kind of making it up. I'm using a flat brush picking up this color right here. It is so beautiful with duochromes pink and silver. I'm just pop right in the inner corners and I'm just divide the halfway where I just cut crease. For the other half, I'm going to select this golden colors right here from Path McGrath palette. This is amazing metallic colors and it's so amazing for every Caucasian if you are using this palette. And I'm trying to blend it in with the brown so it look like it is into one instead of looking divide into three colors. I'm going to pick up this color right here and I'm going to color under my brown. This is going to show a definition to my eyebrow shapes. Using an angle brush, I'm going to select this brown color right here and I'm going to colors under my eye lid. This is going to help to complete this look. I should have done this earlier but now I'm going to do it. Selecting this colors, again I'm going to use this brushes and drag the colors, the inner corner downward just creating an eye cat effect. Let's start the funds and do some outline. I'm going to use this Tony Moly the gel eyeliners. I'm going to start from the outer corners and create a slant triangle connecting the dot and I'm going to fill it in with the black and I'm trying to color it into my inner corners and for the bottom part I'm going to do the same thing but I'm not going to go into my waterline. I'm just going straight from my hairline and then I'm going to draw a downward line like this. It don't have to be perfect at this point, but later on whenever we using our liquid eyeliners, we have a better outline and this is going to look much better with the liquid eyeliners. I love this Stila eyeliner pens because I can really create a precise and perfect line because the pen is really thin and also the ink is consistent whenever I'm using it. To complete this look, we cannot forget about applying false eyelashes. I really love this duo false eyelashes glue. This is such an amazing if you are going out for a festival or somewhere that you don't have a glue with you. This is a perfect one because once you apply it once, it's not going to fall out into at the end of the day. Then I'm going to use this mascara right here to merge my false eyelashes and my real eyelash together into one. And I just like to target the root because I want it to be natural as possible. So as you can see, I already finished with this eye. I'm going to work on this eye and I'll be right back. Now is the perfect time to apply foundations because you able to cover any fallout or any mistake that you did earlier whenever you trying to do your eyes. I'm using a wet and wire foundation focus in golden beige and I'm just using a tapping motions with a damp beauty blender. This is going to cover any perfections or blemishes that I have and blend it out until you are satisfied. I'm going to add some highlights on my face to brighten up my feature. I'm going to apply under my eyes, on my forehead, also in my cupid bow, and lastly under my chin. I mimic how the sun will naturally hit against my face. So that's going to be brightened up using this beauty blender to blend it out. It is definitely a choice if you want to add this technique into the process, but it does help to make your feature look way better and also going to be more attractive. I'm going to add some colors back to my face and creating more structure. I'm using Hula Benefit and also Morphe brushes to bronze up my face. And I go along my natural hairline and also apply alongside of your cheekbones and then just blend it in making sure there's no harsh line. And lastly, apply under your cheekbones like this. 
To mimic the structures of the cat nose, I want to have tall nose bridge. So I'm going to add some bronzers like this. Depend on your certain type of your nose, you have to do a certain way. But I see this is best for me. Also making sure that the other side is even blended in. If you want to lighten up the color, use a beauty blender to lighten up. But for now, I'm just going to shade it and blend it out as much as I could. To define my jawline, I'm using this Cody Airspun Translucent Powder using the edge of this beauty blender to draw from the my end of my mouth and then up into mid of my ears. And I'm going to apply this technique alongside of my nose here. It's going to brighten up that area which is needed and it looks ridiculous right now but trust me, the process works. So I'm going to leave this for about 1-2 to two minutes using a large brush and I'm going to dust off any excess that did not absorb into my skin. For the nose part, I did have to use a different smaller brush because it's going to be more precise as I'm over here taking out the excess. To dry a cat nose, you have many options. You either going to use the eyeshadows, face paint, or right now I'm using the Tony Moly gel eyeliner to shape out the nose that I want. And I'm just going to color it in. It's going to look like a little bit of heart shapes, and I'm going to color it in with the black to fill it in. It's not the most flattering angle that I'm over here trying to show you, but it's definitely going to do the job. I just want to let you know how to do it and understand. For my nose, it's pretty wide in the nostril, so I'm just going to cut it off halfway. But if you have a smaller nose, don't worry about it. Instead of going to use a lipstick, I'm going to use this lip liner from Busum and I'm just going to color it in as a lipstick. This is such amazing colors and it does last longer than a lipstick because it's not going to be slippery and slide throughout the whole day. So you can definitely rock this colors the whole time. By the way, I'm using a liquid pen to do this part and I'm just going to split in half like this drawing a straight line. And this part that you can't barely see what I'm doing, but right now I'm over here trying to outline of my lips like this and I'm going to do the same on the opposite side. And I guess this part was a difficult one, that's why the same thing happened, you can't barely see what I'm doing. Now I'm going to add three tiny triangle dots, I don't even know what this is called, but this is what I'm going to do to imitate the look of a cat. And lastly, the most easy part is drawing a whisker. So if you want to draw three line, four line, how many line is your desire, but making sure that it's going to be even on the opposite side. So here it is. Second to last, I'm going to apply some highlighters under my eyes for some pop. Oh, this is such amazing color and it's absolutely amazing. Let's lock this makeup together with the Urban Decay D Slick and I'm going to spray all over my face. Thank you so much for watching in my cat adventure. If you want to watch of my two video right here, you can definitely check it out because it makes especially for you. And don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for more notifications. And as always, love yourself, stay motivated, peace out.